What's good, everybody? You already know what it is, man. You already know where you at. It's your boy, man. We got another little drop in right now. Uh, and actually, this is a, a flash drop. This literally just dropped. Just got it in, like hot off the press. Just got it in. And I appreciate y'all rocking with your boy to check this out with me today. You already see what it is. We got the club in the building, man. We got Hat Club with their latest drops. And this one, uh, they're calling them micro drops because I guess they're not releasing full team drops on the drops. Like, uh, basically, there were two micro drops. They were dropped separately. And I think out of them, they were only like maybe eight teams. Eight, yeah, about seven or eight teams in, in each drop for each collection because they were two separate collections. One, I want to make sure I'm saying this right. If I'm not, hit me in the comments. I have no idea. Uh, the Panacotta drop, those, like I said, did about maybe seven or eight teams. I'm not sure, but they didn't have a full team run. And then the other one, this one, I, I don't know if I'm going to butcher or not, but it's, it's, I think it's called the Spumoni drop. That one, they were going a little crazy over. Me, um, I, I seen both drops um, uh, when they were releasing the pictures of them on IG. Uh, for me, I picked pretty much the best ones to me out of each drop as far as now you know me i've been known to spend a little pretty penny on a collection if it works out in my collection wise like you know color scheme and everything because i can't just rock out on a whole collection if i don't have a lot of stuff to go with it it just wouldn't make sense which again like i always say that's what makes everybody collection theirs uh these these two collections that dropped they were nice Colorways were unique, if that's the way to describe it. Uh, that's why I chose only one from each one because the color schemes are so unique, but eye catching, I didn't really have a lot to go with them. So, without just, you know what I'm saying, you guys will see what I mean once we bust into them. Like I said, we got two micro collections, we got the Panna Cotta, we got the Spumoni. We're going to bust right into them. Like I said, this is hot off the press smoking, just picked it up from the PO box. We about to get into them right now. It's your boy, Sean. Stay fitted, man. We about to bust into these. I'm anxious to see how they looking in hand. They starting to drop here, here, and there. Yeah, we about to get into this bad boy. So stay tuned, man. Let's go. Like I said, man, we're going to bust right into them because I really want to see what these look like in the hand. Um, cause I, now correct me if I'm wrong, hit me in the comments. You know, I always look for y'all to help me out. I don't know if these were no whole exclusive or they released on the East coast first, or maybe these had already came out and they already had them out there, but social media, it was getting around a lot of pictures. A lot of people had them already, uh, out on the East coast or out that way. Um, so checking out those and then just checking out uh, little pictures here and there, they were releasing of the drop. I mean, the color schemes were unique. The color schemes were really unique. So, of course, you know, one, I just want them, you know what I'm saying, because I, I at least want at least one out of each collection, you know what I'm saying, just to be able to have one in hand, you know, just to be able to rock, you know, your kicks, your fit, you know, and the whole nine. Uh, like I said, I picked the one that I felt was the best out of each group. So, without further ado, we're going to bust into the box. Because like I said, you can only see something on social media before you want to see it in hand and see how it's actually looking. So I got one out of each collection. So ooh, that's already looking good. The first one already got the white guts shining. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so the first one, uh, just by looking at the cutters, I can tell what it is. It's going to be the Panna Cottas and the team I got was the Dodgers. Now, what's crazy is for this version, they had two, if I'm not mistaken. They had a version that was off-white and green on the bill, and then they had this one with the off-white and the maroon. Me, personally, I'm a burgundy maroon guy, so definitely going to choose the maroon over the green. And like I said, this one here, now, definitely, before I go any further, definitely going to put some, you know, some kind of protection layer on this because i know this is probably going to scare a lot of people off for one you got the off-white that's going to scare people off and then like i said you see that green under and then those white guts in there that's going to probably run a lot of people off 
You know what I'm saying? I mean, just because the collection is dope, you know, it's probably going to sell, but I can just hear people now frantically like, hey, how am you know, the white gus, the off, why not? Like I said, man, get you some good protector, and there's a lot of them on the market. Hat clubs have some, crep has some, and now you got um, crown wipes out there, especially for the unders. All your cap, like I said, there's, there's so much out there to take care of your caps now. You should have no problem and no hesitation being able to buy what you like as far as if it has the white guts, so you should be good. Any of those, and I actually have each one of those I named, and all of them work. So that's that's coming from your boy, so you straight. Don't be worried about the white guts, man. Get you one of the protectors, and you're good. And you definitely going to want to hit this off-white with at least some kind of layer of protection. So, you know, that's one of those more you know moments. We're going to get back into this joint. Like I said, I'm loving the colorway on this one. And like I said, I picked what was the best ones out of the group to meet. Now, me, it was either this one or it was going to be the Washington Nationals, basically with this same colorway. I just chose the L.A., you know what I'm saying, the hometown. It was a must, you know what I mean? And then, like I said, I love the way the green. And I want to say this isn't too much of a yellow. I want to say more of a gold look on the side patch. You got the MLB logo right there too, the 1988 World Series. Like I said, man, this is this is a clean cap. This is a clean. I love the colorway on it. How the, you got the maroon and the green on there. When I give y'all that angle, you got that gold on there with the burgundy trim around there or maroon trim, however you want to call it. It's just enough of everything going on in this hat to where it's not doing too much. This is one of those, you know, you can you can rock this. You know, when you're just looking for a clean look and it's not too much overtaking it. See, the side patch isn't too big, too gaudy. It's a simple side patch. And it lets the colorway do most of the talking for the hat. That's the kind of hat I like. You know what I'm saying? When it's when you letting the colorway do more of the talking for you, it stands out more. Now, like I said, it was this one and a close second between the Washington Nationals. I just went with the Dodgers colorway or the Dodgers logo just because of hometown. You know what I mean? I mean, both of those, to me, looked really good in the colorway. So it wasn't more so about the logo. It was just about, you know, which one I wanted. Look, well, it is about the logo. Which one I wanted logo-wise with that colorway, more so, if that makes sense. And then, of course, the side patch would be different on the national ones. It wasn't really about the side patch. It was more so probably about the front logo. So you got that maroon button on top. Like I said, you got that green under on this one. So to me, this hat came out really clean. But again, like I said, Definitely, if you don't have one before you wear this, even before you store it, like me before I store it, I'm definitely going to wrap this in some plastic. I'm definitely going to hit it with a protector before I even do that. So, because this is the kind of thing you don't want too much, like once you store your caps or I don't know how you store them. Like me, I will put this in one of these cases here that go four down. I will put them in one of those. Or if I actually decide to move this one, like take one of these cases, because what I do is... I'll actually take one of these whole cases and bring one from the storage unit back here. And then that's how I rotates my hats. Like if I'm going to wear them like that, like these just won't stay here and I'll just take a couple of hats. I'm, no, I'll move the whole case and bring one whole case back over. So yeah. So if I store this and the storage area I got, if you do have that many hats, get you a storage unit that's temperature controlled. Because you don't want it to just stay hot and then, you know, just like with your shoes, you know, they start to fade and the bottoms will turn. And that'll happen with your hats too with certain colors. So another more, you know, moment. But like I said, man, Panacotta Dodgers, you know what I'm saying? Dope colorway to me. Definitely worth to get, but definitely protect your hat, especially when you got this kind of colorway. Now, this one here, I noticed a lot of people, a lot of people said this was probably the best one in the, like I said, I think the name is the Spumoni drop. I heard a lot of people going crazy over this one. I wanted to see it in hand and it's, it's definitely everything that, yeah. I mean, this is a crazy colorway. It's probably going to be hard for me to find something to like make sure I hit on this hat. But yeah, this joint is crazy and it's the athletic Spumoni. Just, I'm going to just hold this here for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Now, like I said, I've slowed down on buying a lot of pink bottoms, which this is. Oh, I like the nice little dual stickers, which this is. But this one here, this one was a must. This one, this logo is crazy, man. And like I said, for that, for that, this almost looks like from the um, kind of like how the Midnight Men is because it has that same teal Tiffany kind of blue with the gold, with the pink on a brown hat. Like when you say it, 
it sounds crazy, but when you look at it, man, this man, this this joint is a problem. This joint is a problem, and I'm I'm definitely glad I was able to get it. Um, man, this if you have this joint, let me know down below how you feeling about it. this thing. It's crazy to me. Now, hands down, this one to me was the best one out of that drop. Let me know in the comments what you think. Just the detail alone in the logo just kills the whole hat for me because this thing is super detailed. You see that? To me, that's that's crazy to me. And I'm already a big fan of the, the Athletics logo when they use the elephant. I think they should use it a whole lot more. What they did with this here, color-wise, that's stupid. I haven't seen anything like this in a long time with that much crazy detail on it, with colors that you wouldn't think go, but they made it work, man. They really made it work. And like I said, I love the fact here they threw all of those colors in the side patch, but again, the side patch is not overtaking the logo because as you just see right there, it's not a very big side patch, but they put enough detail on it and enough of the colors to make it stand out with the actual logo. So you got that Batman on the back with all the same colors on there. You got the little pink. Like I said, you got the little kind of teal Tiffany color to it. Then, like I said, you got that all pink under. And like I said, get you that angle again with the logo. This hat is a problem. This detail-wise, this hat is a problem. Now, is it still too early to start talking about what's the tops of the year and all that? Probably. But right now, this easily right now release, and this is just for me, probably top five logo-wise. And why I say that is just because of the detail in the logo. You can put a lot of stuff on a logo and just throw it on front street and say that, but to me, the detail in this thing is stupid. This is stupid right here. And I'm going to tell you right now, and I don't say that about a lot of my hats when I get them like that, I can't wait to find the right fit to rock this with because I'm going I'm to freak this joint. Believe that, man. Because this thing deserves all the detail and attention that it should get. Like I said, and I'll say it again, because of the colors, you wouldn't think that they don't go. They made it work, man. They made it work. This is definitely worth the purchase, man. Now, seeing it in hand and seeing it from a lot of other angles, you know, people, pictures and everything in hand, this joint is stupid. Let me know definitely if you're able to get your hands on this because I know it's, it's still people on social media asking about it, trying to get their hands on this one. So, yeah, this thing is something else, man. Definitely a problem. Like I said, I just wanted to give y'all those quick two looks, man, because like I said, this drop was hot off the press, you know what I'm saying? Just literally got it in my hands today, wanted to get it up with y'all. Now, I probably won't get the video up today as I'm saying this, so it'll probably be up tomorrow, but just wanted y'all to give a fresh look at it, you know what I mean? See how it's coming in hand, kind of, if you want to say that, but yeah, we're going to get to the quick recap, like, got the panna cotta. Didn't show you the, the Batterman on that one, I don't think. Want to definitely give y'all a quick look at that. Don't want to overlook anything. But like I said, we got the LA Dodgers Panna Cotta. Dope side patch. Love the way they use the colors on this thing. And like I said, don't run from them white guts, man. Don't run from it. I know it may be even worse because it's white guts plus it's an off-white hat. But y'all got this, man. Get y'all them cleaners. And if not, hit me in the comments. I'll tell y'all what to do. Then you got that Oakland Athletics Pomoni Collection. Speaks for itself, man. Speaks for itself. Like I said, logo-wise, right now, really, I'm giving this top five. Easily top five. So that's the drops, man. That's Hat Club with the micro drops from the Spumoni and the Panna Cotta Collection. It's your boy. You already know what it is. I'm going to get up out of here. Wanted to give you all that quick view of that. I'm going to see you all on the next one. You already know it's the next one, man. Hit that like, sub, all of that good stuff. Appreciate y'all rocking with your boy. I'm going to give it y'all on the next video. I've been getting a little behind, but I definitely want to drop these out because I want y'all to see how they was coming fresh off the press. So, like I said, I'm going to see y'all on the next one. I'm going to go and get up out of here, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see y'all when I see y'all, man. I'm going to y'all in the comments, though. That's for sure. So, I'm going to holler at y'all, man. I'm up out of here.